Hello everyone, my name is Austin Popejoy, the CAM Application Engineer at GSC. Thank you very much for coming out to these SOLIDWORKS 2022 rollouts. While SOLIDWORKS is a centerpiece for today's activities, I do want to take a couple quick minutes to talk about the top five enhancements you can look forward to with CAMWORKS 2021+. Plus. Number five, assigning toolpath and endpoint colors. New for CAMWORKS 2021 Plus is the ability to set the default colors for toolpaths and their endpoints. In previous versions, all toolpaths were displayed in the same color, but now specific colors can be assigned to specific portions in the display settings. To take it a step further, you can now change endpoint nodes to a different color so those transitional points really stand out. This enhancement allows users to differentiate at a glance rapid and lead-in toolpaths from their cutting counterparts without having to step through individual movements. Number four, the CAMWORKS task pane. The SOLIDWORKS task pane is familiar to almost every user and CAMWORKS 2021 Plus adds an additional tab called the CAMWORKS task pane. From within this convenient location, you can access a wealth of CAMWORKS information. The home button will display practical information such as special offers and blog posts. The learn tab will link to in-app and online resources to help you make the most of your CAMWORKS capabilities. And the alerts tab is an easy way to download the latest CAMWORKS installation files stored in chronological order. All of this without leaving the familiar SOLIDWORKS interface. Number three, non-planar probing cycles. CAMWORKS 2020 gave us the powerful capability of using Renishaw probing cycles for a variety of purposes, like verifying critical operations were completed and resetting work coordinate systems to exact locations. The 2021 release built on those capabilities and added more parameters to dial in exactly what we were looking for. However, those probe surfaces needed to be flat. CAMWORKS 2021 Plus gets rid of that constraint and now allows probing on single non-planar surfaces. This is a huge benefit to our mill bundle users as you can now reset your Z height on previously machined surfaces, a situation often faced in molding operations. Number two, multiple technology databases. I often refer to the TechDB as the brains behind CAMWORKS as it controls nearly everything the program does, including feeds and speeds, machining strategies, and tool cribs. With the release of CAMWORKS 2021 Plus, users can now have multiple technology databases in any of the supported formats and easily toggle between which one is active. Making a backup copy of TechDBs has also been streamlined with the addition of a Copy TechDB button. This enhancement is a personal favorite of mine. Anyone who's taken training with me knows how adamant I am about making copies of your TechDB as a failsafe. It also makes troubleshooting significantly easier as you can try alternate TechDBs without risking changes made to your original files. Which brings us to number one. Prime Turning. The number one enhancement of CAMWORKS 2021 Plus, hands down, is the incorporation of Sandvik Coromont's Prime Turning operations. This is a radical departure from conventional turning operations and is possibly the single biggest improvement in lathe operations in decades. Yeah, it's that big. Prime Turning couples the design of special cutting inserts with tool paths that go in the opposite direction for drastic increases in feed rate and tool life. By using more of the insert instead of just the tip, you have a lot more control over the chip removal rate and it spreads heat buildup over a much larger area. That's 4340 steel being cut at 79 thou deep and 24 thou per revolution, almost three times the material removal rate of a typical turning toolpath. The type A finishing inserts can be run at extreme speeds as well while still maintaining an exceptional surface finish. Their unique shape allows you to cut right up to a 90 degree shoulder and even some undercut areas for fewer tool changes. CAMWORKS 2021 Plus comes with tool crib libraries already built for roughing and finishing inserts and holders, so you're ready to go as soon as the prime turning module is activated. For most shops, the return on investment for this system is very short due to the increased throughput and inserts last five times as long. Like I said, this is huge. And now for a bonus feature, and that's the CAMWORKS 2021 Plus release itself. In the past, CAMWORKS has always had an annual release that roughly lined up with SOLIDWORKS schedule. Starting this year, they've committed to a two-release schedule with the usual yearly releases plus a version midway through the cycle to provide major enhancements to our users sooner. There will still be service packs as well, with those primarily focusing on smaller fixes. It's the perfect opportunity to try out that new CAMWORKS task manager to make sure you have the latest and greatest. Thank you very much for walking through the biggest features of CAMWORKS 2021 Plus with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the GSC CAM team. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your presentation.